new classification of Doppler vascularization of thyroid nodules. The vascular Doppler patterns of thyroid nodules already described do not achieve all the variability found in observable clinical case. For this reason, we propose a new classification of thyroid vascularization patterns based on professor's morphology and distribution in color Doppler inside and around lesion to improve the accuracy in the characterization of benign malignant lesions. We examined 285 thyroid nodules that were operated on in 46 patients and were retrospectively evaluated and our results had anatomopathological confirmation. And we described nine patterns in the color Doppler classified as benign, a vascular pattern without internal flow, Typical of cysts, similar, when the vessels do not recognize the presence of a thyroid nodule and their cores are not deviated. Peripheral, when the lesion is hypovascularized around the thyroid nodule and hypovascularized internally. And we also describe three different malignant patterns, hypovascularized, when we saw many vessels inside the thyroid nodule with anomalous pattern and many conversion to the lesion. Variable, when we have a variable amount of anomalous vessel inside the thyroid nodule, roundly scattering in a fashion hypernormal or hypovascularized and many conversion to the lesion. Hypovascularized malignant, with a scarce amount of vessels inside, but these very few vessels look like tortuous or irregular or anomalous in some way, and many are converging to the lesion, looks like a medusa's head. In this three malignant pattern, we always see a lot of vessels converging to the lesion. In our case, Anomalous vessels also are seen inside the lesion. Inconclusive. And we describe three inconclusive patterns. Hypovascularized, when we have a scarce amount of vessels inside or around the thyroid notch and known are anomalous. Variable, when we have a variable amount of vessels um, with the are randomly sparse inside of thyroid nodules, some areas hyper and others hypo and are vascularized without any anomalous vessels or converging vessels to the thyroid nodule. Hypovascularizing when we have many internal vessels inside the thyroid nodule with normal distribution and appearance. Benign Doppler pattern, here is the avascular pattern without internal flow, typical of cysts as seen in this lesion. And the similar, when the vessel do not recognize the presence of a thyroid lesion like here, and it is not disviate on in its course. And the peripheral, when we have hypovascularized um, aspect around the lesion and hypovascularized inside. Here we have three different hypovascularized malignant Doppler pattern. In this lesion uh, shows between arrows, we can see many tortuous vessels like here and also many vessels converging to the lesion. Uh, that is very typical for, of malignancy and uh, resemble a medusa's head. In these two other lesions, the most important aspect we like to show is uh, this anomalous, entangled, new vascularization clusters and many tortuous vessels, very small ones, like if fragmented in many places, 
And also, there are vessels do not reduce in diameter after branch. In this variable malignant Doppler pattern, we have a variable amount of vessels inside. And these vessels are anomalous. They are tortuous, or they are like here, uh, fragmented because they are tortuous. And also, we have this um, close to the anterior portion of the nodule, this entangled vessels um, that um, represent niches of neovascularization inside the thyroid nodule. In this, we have two different hypovascularized malignant Doppler platter. Both have a small amount of vessels inside. In both, we have this typical fragmentation pattern of tortoise vessels. But there are many vessels, many vessels, around these thyroid nodules that resemble a medusa's head very typical of and we have three inconclusive doppler pattern to show the hypovascularized like here no vessels are seen inside the thyroid nodule in this other one variable inconclusive we have a complex thyroid nodule with hyper hypo and avascularized areas, roundly sparse without anomalous vessels or neovascularization clusters. Vessels diameters do not reduce after branch like it show in here. And the third example is the hypervascularizing conclusive patterns with many vessels inside but homogeneously disperses and the normal appearance and only two vessels around the lesion. Results. Out of 285 thyroid nodules, 197 were benign and 87 malignant, and one was borderline. The color Doppler vascularization patterns were classified as 8 benign when 76 was truly benign, 95%, 72 malignant, and 66 are truly malignant, 91.7%, and 122 inconclusive, and 116 was benign, what's very good for inconclusive result. And according to Doppler patterns of thyroid nodule in your date, we found the sensitivity 94.3%, specificity 92.7%, overall positive predictive value 91.7%, and the hypovascularized malignant 83.3%. Negative predictive value 95%, prevalence of 46%, and accuracy 93%. Conclusions. The most important Doppler criteria for characterization of malignant thyroid nodule is the morphological pattern of vessels inside and the amount of vessels around the lesion. The number of vessels inside the thyroid nodule is important. The Doppler characterization allows to select those with thyroid nodule more likely to be malignant achieving a positive predictive value of 91.7% and a negative predictive value of 95% in our data, demonstrating the effectiveness of the method. We did not find in the literature any mention of the hypovascularized malignant Doppler pattern related to thyroid malignancy. In our data, the positive predictive value was 83.3% to this malignant pattern. In agreement with the common histological hypovascularized variant of papillary thyroid cancer. The TIRADS classification does not consider the Doppler criteria for characterization the malignancy, perhaps because it is focused in the number of vessels inside the thyroid nodule and not in their morphological pattern inside 
and the raw methylation. And finally, basing up our, our data, we suggest to incorporate the Doppler classification of thyroid nodule in TIRADS since the malignancy criteria has proven to be an effective tool for selecting those to be investigated despite require operator training to identify subtle signs. Thank you.